Hi guys, I'm Andy and welcome back to Backpacking UK. Hiking, backpacking and wild camping your thing. Please hit that subscribe button because that's what this channel's all about. Right, today I'm really excited. I'll be reviewing and pitching the Nature Hike Cloud Peak 210. Now, this is the one that looks suspiciously like the Hilleberg Alak 210. The difference is about 900 quid. So if you want a top end tent design, for budget money, you've got to see this review. This weighs about two and a half kilos. If you want to make it lighter, you can actually drop the mat that comes with it. This weighs 226 grams, um, but it's sold as a four season tent. We'll come to that a little bit later on. In this form, this is 50 centimeters by just 15 centimeters um, for a decent sized two person tent. I don't think that's too bad at all. But the best thing about this tent is when it's pitched, it's got a really nice height of 105 centimetres. Um, it's also 210 centimetres long and 130 centimetres wide at its widest point. It's slightly tapered. I think it tapers into 120 centimetres. This also has a really nice vestibule area of about 72 centimetres. Uh, you'll see in a minute, you can open the door right up so you've got full access to that vestibule. But I'll be using this for a three to four season tent and I'll be using this myself. So the idea is if I get stuck in a bit of bad weather, get stuck in a bit of rain, I've got a nice tent to spend some time in, I can sit up, I can move around, I can bring all my stuff in there and there's lots of space for it all. Now this Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2 has a 4,000 millimeter hydrostatic head rating uh, on the fly sheet, which basically means it's really water resistant. It also uses a 20D nylon fabric for the fly sheet and for the mat too. Um, I've got that both on my uh, Nature Hike Cloud Up 1 and also the Monga 2 uses that too. So I don't think you'd have too many problems with tears or rips. The Cloud Peak 2 also uses aluminium poles and aluminium pegs, and they're quite Gucci as well. Really nice bits of kit. Such a well-designed backpacking tent. Um, obviously, some of the design features are heavily borrowed from Hilleberg and Venice, um, but I'm not complaining. Now I paid £163 from Nature Hike's official store of Valley Express. But what's interesting, it said it was going to take about two to three weeks to be delivered. I ended up getting it two days later by Amazon UK. So I don't know if I just got lucky with that one, but 163 quid delivered in just two days for a tent like this is astonishing. It is an absolute bargain. So let's start pitching this Nature Height Cloud Peak 2 tent. So this is the Nature Height Cloud Peak 2 laid out for you. These are the pegs that you get. Really, really nice. Sort of triangular. They're slightly bladed as well. Really nice tent pegs. Then you've got three sets of poles with this tent. These are really nice tent poles that are also, if you can see that, pre-curved as well. Uh, you've got the ground sheet. You've also got the tent inner and the fly together. And you can actually pitch them both at the same time, which is an absolute must if you're looking for a tent that you can pitch up in the rain. So I've just pitched the mat out, just using four tent pegs. The instructions for the tent are inside the tent bag and um, to be fair they're reasonably easy to follow. Next I've just laid over the tent inner and the fly outer. Next I've just put the poles out ready to put the poles into the little fixings on the tent fly. So the poles just go into these little fixings on the fly, really easy. So I've just done that at each three points on one side of the tent. 
So all the tent poles are now in their fixings. I just need to raise them up and start attaching them to the outer fly sheet. So what I've done here, I've just clipped in the bottom of the fly sheet first, just to give it a bit of rigidity. Now it's just a case of working my way up, just go in circular round the tent. And that's it, all the poles are now attached to the fly sheet. Now we just need to attach on the tent roof. So that's it, that's the Nature Hike Cloud Up 2 tent pitched. Now I can move this pretty much wherever I want. to get it pitch perfect. So this is the Nature Height Cloud Peak 2, all pitched up. Let's have a look, I've pegged it out properly. It's a lovely tent, it's really nice. Bear in mind it's quite a complex design. Um, this is the first time I've pitched it. I managed to pitch it really, really easily. Um, I thought it'd be much more difficult than this. Uh, I've got the tent top on there, you can see, um, but I've got plenty of pegs. It's just a really nice shape. One thing that I think is a really nice touch from Nature Hike is they always give you some extra rope and extra pegs. So if it was really windy, you could really secure this tent at each point. And to be fair, unless you're in like a real, real strong gale, you know, this tent's not going anywhere. So let's take a look inside. So this is the 72 centimetre vestibule area, and you've got one of these each side. You've also got these doors on each side too. Now what I love about the doors on this Cloud Peak 2 is how they open. So you open them all the way up and round, all the way to one side and then all the way open the other side so you've got full access to one side of the tent. So the tent on one side is fully open Let's take a look. As you can see, it's either a small two-person tent or it's a massive one-person tent. You've got a nice pocket at the end there. You've got the door on the other side of the tent, which opens up in exactly the same way as the door that I've just opened. You've also got a nice, really big pocket up here which is great. We've got a lantern hook here as well. As you can see, I've got my sleeping bag laid out here. This is quite a big one. This is 215 centimetres long. Um, so it does touch both sides because the length of the tent is 210 centimetres. Um, but for me, I'm five foot eight. There's loads of room in here for me, absolutely loads. I mean, if I lay down here, and I've still got my sleeping bag here too. So down one side, I could quite happily put my backpack in here, all my belongings, not a problem at all. And then in this vestibule area here, I could do my cooking, which is absolutely great. Height wise, now, like I say, I'm five foot eight and flipping out, this must be 20 centimeters above my head does not feel claustrophobic at all in here. There's arms stretched out. There's loads of space, absolutely loads of space in here. Like I say, two person tent, mm, you know, be fine for you and your dog, you and your son or daughter, you and your partner if you want, you like being on top of each other. Um, but for me, what I want to use this for, a bit of a three, four season uh, tent, um, where I've got lots of space if it's a bit nasty outside or if it's raining like today. 
And I'd be quite happy wild camping in here if the weather wasn't very nice. You know, I couldn't really say that about my nature hike cloud up 110. You know, if I sp had to spend any sort of time in there, phew, yeah, the experience wouldn't be the same. But this is fantastic. And if I come to the end here, you know, I've got loads of space. Do all, do all my cooking. Everyone knows I, I love doing a bit of cooking. This is absolutely great. Um, I've got to say here, where the roof finishes, it doesn't finish in line with the like the mat, so you would get water run off from the roof straight into your tent, which that's not great if I'm honest. Um, but what you're talking for the money, it's unbelievable value for money. This is a lovely tent. This is. Um, I really don't think you can go too wrong. You know, you've got quite a large solid piece that comes up here before the mesh starts, which is in keeping with a three or four season tent. Um, full mesh throughout. What do I think? What's my final summary? Now, I've wanted this tent for a long time. It's been on my shopping list for a long time. And now I've got it, I'm not disappointed at all. I think value for money, it's got to be 10 out of 10. Design, again, well, it's boring a design really from a tent that's over a thousand pound. Um, so it's not exactly the same, um, but you could probably modify it a little bit, you know, have a little strip down here. You could have a little bit of a ground sheet material just covering the vestibule area so you're not putting your belongings directly on the grass but I absolutely love it so check out my reviews I've got tons of reviews out there at the moment so please check them out um, but most of all stay safe and hope to see you on that mountain soon cheers